Sagittarius, welcome back to White Crow Tarot. My name is Ebony. This is your healing tarot segment for the month of April 2021. This is looking ahead, a cleanse before we begin the month of April. Sagittarius, I just wanted to point out that I was feeling so, so staggered right before your reading. I literally, okay, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing that. Part of that is my own frustration and because I'm trying something new today on my channel with all of you. But also, I felt like overall that was how you guys were feeling. Sagittarius, it was kind of this, it's this, I don't know what's next kind of feeling. And, the, and I'm scatterbrained. Scatterbrained. I don't know. I'm afraid to take action. I'm afraid to make, to make a step because I'm afraid of some kind of... I'm afraid to take any action of any kind whatsoever. So I just want to tell you guys to calm. You can't do that, obviously. I don't know your situation. I don't know your story. But I want us to get today, the reason why I'm doing these healing sessions, I do these at the end of every month. So I like to, for us to walk into a new month with renewed energy. Today's healing session, Sagittarius, is a deep dive into, into the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Pre-pulled your oracle energy. All right. Clarify at the end of the reading the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Whichever one you identify, irrelevant. We are doing the divine feminine first, which will be part one of this video. To skip ahead to part two for the divine masculine, obviously, time stamps are included down below in the description. Sagittarius, if something resonates in here with you today, please let me know down in the comments. I am testing this reading out for the first time on my channel, so it is a little scary to me. And that's overall, I think, how you're feeling right now. I can tell you without looking at any cards right now, that that is what I feel as a collective for Sagittarius right now. And I don't know why that is. It's just this little unsured footedness, okay? We're going to dive in now, all right? We're looking at the Divine Feminine Sagittarius first, all right? <sighs> Guide spirits, benevolent beings, show me what I need to see, please, for the Divine Feminine Sagittarius. Let's help Sagittarius know what they need to know for their greater good and healing for the month of April. What are Sagittarius' intentions, please, for the month of April? Show me their intentions. Intentions, please. Intentions. The month of April. These cards are a little sticky. <laughs> Show me intentions, please, for the month of April. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. I guess we do want all that. All right. Sagittarius, your current intentions. We have conflict and defeat. This is the energy I'm feeling right now. Your current intentions is... It's kind of like the Five of Swords, right? This is the Five of Swords. You're going down, but it feels like everyone else is rushing in another direction. You want to break out of this, Sagittarius? You just, your head, you had, there's a light shining. Your head, it's like you see, it's also kind of like you see something that someone else does, others don't see at this time. Because there's a candle burning down here. And I, I happen to, oh, it's like, I feel like, I feel like, there's a light deep down inside that you are searching for right now, Sagittarius. <sighs> 
but you've always felt like you were going against the grain is what it feels like to me for my female for my feminine sagittarius's you've always felt like you were going against the grain of what others wanted you to do that no matter what you did or, or aspired to be it was not enough it was not enough how you feel about this, Sagittarius? What you want is the Nine of Cups. You want happiness. After heavy conflict and defeat you feel in your life, you want personal happiness. The energy of your environment right now, Sagittarius, is temptation. The devil, right? Number 15. Temptation. This is just kind of a warning to you not to go after the first shiny object that comes in front of you, right? Just be mindful not to be tempted by the first thing that comes at you. Especially if you're coming out of any conflict and defeat from your recent past, right? The devil can be kind of like that shiny, it's a shiny object syndrome. And it's this, I don't know what to do, right? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I want. Oh, let me try this. Oh, let me try that. That's kind of the energy I was feeling. I was like, I was so scatterbrained, just so... Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? What are we doing? Is what someone's asking. What are we doing? Okay. So the energy of your environment right now is temptation. This could also be someone in and around your circle who, because I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like whoever this is, Sagittarius, and the devil is technically, you know, is a, ca is a Capricorn energy. It does not have to be a Capricorn. You may also have a Capricorn placement yourself. What I'm feeling from this card, Sagittarius, is there's a, there's a small sense of being kind of two-faced with your emotions or presenting two faces. It's kind of like one face is always presented, but the other face is always turned away. You're always going against what you know to be true, right? There's a sense of that. Or there's an energy about your environment that it's almost like you can't quite trust it. Because while you're busy going one way, everyone else is busy going another way. See? How they're all running up the stairs and he's running down. That's kind of how it's always going against the grain of what either you should be doing or want to be doing. Whether that is self-imposed or not irrelevant really it's not irrelevant it's just something for you to be made aware of about your environment not to be not to be sidetracked by every shiny object okay because you hold the key to maintaining your own stability what does Sagittarius understand about this spirit what does Sagittarius understand at this time, what does Sagittarius understand? Thank you. Okay. You have foundation and achievements. The Four of Wands. This is things coming together that you've worked hard for. Maybe in the past, Sagittarius, you've made it to set aside a lot of temptations right this is you understanding that in order to have it right in order to have those your wish fulfillment here requires requires work a sense of due diligence and working for the things that you aspire to achieve not that you don't it's not about that it's just you understand that there's hard work and dedication even time and patience which temperance automatically is your card right there's a sense of completion here that you understand maybe you've gone through a cycle of healing 
even recently and a rebuilding of a foundation what you want is solid structure you want that you do because there you are <laughs> right patience patience waiting for the seed to grow for a new seed to grow you're planting a new seed into a firm foundation for yourself at this time Sagittarius man or woman but this is the divine feminine however you identify with this energy you are planting new seeds at this time Sagittarius which is lovely lovely Your obstacle and challenge right now <laughs> it's kind of funny we have the courageous peony multifaceted unique nature let yourself be seen the courageous peony multifaceted a unique nature let yourself be seen let yourself be seen Sagittarius you don't have to present two faces you don't have to present one side of yourself and turn away from the other you can be seen for exactly who you are as you should be be seen for who you are there's no there's no really need to hide anything about yourself Show me the possible outcome, please, for Sagittarius. Show me the outcome, please. Potential outcome, please, for Sagittarius for April. Show me the potential outcome, please. It's not you guys. The cards are sticky. Or is it? <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. We have firm foundation, firm foundation. This is solid structure. And it's funny how you get foundation in both cards. And I think stability is going to be the overall theme of your month, Sagittarius. Establishing new foundations as well as rebuilding old ones you are desiring structure the sacral the root chakra here is about stability it is the area in which archangel michael governs at this time we just want you to be made aware of not harboring any deceit or envy towards anyone around you or in your circle or anyone who you feel may have done you wrong in the past this could be people in your environment feeling this way about you as well so just to be mindful of of that energy okay this is technically like the seven of swords in the standard right away tarot deceit and envy this is a caution to you to be careful about yeah regarding partnerships and alliances and speaking your truth as well with the throat chakra speaking authentically of your truth Sagittarius about how you feel okay. because you are entering into new partnerships and and alliances at this time some of you so I think also if you're dealing in matters of romance you're going to be going against the grain where that's concerned some of you I did feel are um, stepping outside of what you've normally done it's like you're maybe interested in new things that and when establishing a new foundation for yourself you're becoming more interested in people outside of the norm outside of your culture religion 
maybe you're moving, maybe you've moved recently, or you've, you're setting up shop in a new place, in a new area where you're going to meet someone who may not be, who may go against the grain of your own thinking. So be prepared to be challenged in that way. I want to tell you just, there's no need to wear a mask. This is just a caution to you, Sagittarius. Excuse me. Hey, buddy. Hey, Rowan. Bye-bye. Excuse me. Pardon my cat, guys. You decide now you want to introduce yourself? You decide now not to wear a mask, right? <laughs> you decide now to introduce yourself? Now is not the time. Ebony is doing a reading. Mommy's doing a reading. Okay. Excuse you. Don't you think about it. <laughs> I apologize, guys. I may have to pause to let him out because he is threatening to interrupt your entire reading right now. Give me one second. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Where were we? Okay. I think we're looking at new structure for you and four, again, indicator here. So next month is about new stability for you, Sagittarius. Do you know that? I think we talked about that as well. Um, in your career and finance reading, I know many of you are out of work at this time, worried about that. And I think April is going to, we're, you know, we're, this is the last month. This is, we're in the last month of the 12th house. We just moved into Aries season. This is about fire being brought back, right? So expect expansion forward rapidly and quickly in whatever endeavors you're pursuing right now okay whatever you're doing all right divine feminine exactly what did you say fortune expect money fortune expect good fortune in april this is the divine and feminine your energy okay this is actually this is beautiful I'm gonna read this card to you expect fortune okay yes <laughs> Prepare for a positive change of fortune. A run of bad luck will end. Note the difference between chance and action. You can change your luck. Be prepared. When fortune meets opportunity, success results. Wish for me a coin of gold, Lady Fortuna. Please give to me. I pray to you to change my luck. Fortune's favorite I will be. Oh, hard to woo, Fortuna smiles, her sweetest and most complicated one. Our expectations not premeditated. We cannot trust that her gift will come. We can, though. If but not on premeditated energy. Right? The premeditation occurs in the self, in setting positive aspects and intentions about what you want. Sometimes I think human nature has changed a great deal in the last few thousand years. Until I read ancient history, historical witchcraft techniques seem just as concerned with invoking love, money, health, and luck as modern spellcraft. Evidently, these aspects of life are at the heart of human desires, and no less today than in Aradia's time. Aradia was considered the first female witch. Hence where the scarlet letter came from, the letter A. Okay. But this is telling you that fortune is ahead, Sagittarius. Your healing card, inner work. Inner work. God 
brings me ideal situations for my inner healing or spirit or whatever you believe. As I become aware of my weaknesses, I turn them into strengths. I direct my thoughts towards the light and see the positive side of every stage of my life. Darkness turns into courage, thus I get stronger. Yes. Divine Feminine, Sagittarius, I hope something in here did resonate with you. Please let me know. Stay tuned or stay to the next part for the Divine Masculine if you wish. If not, this is where I leave you. Thank you. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if anything in here did resonate with you today. Thank you for testing out this new uh, delivery with me. We will refine this a little bit more, I think, but I think we're off to a good start. So. Until next time, I'll see you next week for general love readings. Talk soon. Sagittarius, this is your divine masculine reading. Welcome to this section. If you caught the intro, you know what we're doing. Jumping right in. <sighs> Guide spirits, benevolent beings. Show me what I need to see, please, for the divine masculine Sagittarius. Let's paint a clean story for Sagittarius. Help them know what they need to know. Help the Divine Masculine see what they need to see for their greater good and healing for the month of April. What does the Divine Masculine want, wish at this time? What are their intentions at this time, please? It wants. Moving fast, are we? Moving fast. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Sagittarius, where are we going? We're driving? Careful. Moving quickly. Right out the gate. Moving quickly. Eight of Wands. Towards what? Your intentions. Communicate. Communicate. Ah, planting a new seed. Nine of Pentacles. Moving quickly towards your own independence, right? Towards your own independence? Interesting. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Earth. Towards your material gain as well. There's gain to be had. Stuff's moving in quickly for you. Your intention is to see it through. Hesitant. Hesitant. I'm so drawn to the skid marks. How do you feel about this communication that you want? Thank you. Mm, I see. That's why I was like, slow down. Slow down. Hang on. Pause. <laughs> hanged man. Oh, Pisces energy. With the hanged man. This is you needing to pause for a second. I feel like you're going too fast. You're going too fast, right? Pause. Reflect. See what you need to see. Hello. We'll get to you in a second. Pause. Right? Because happiness is coming. Are you happy about something? You're just happy? You got some good news? Is that what it is? Some good news. Yes, I like that. Some of you recently, there's an issue of security, jobs, foundation. You've got good news is what I feel the need to tell you. Leo energy on the bottom of the deck right now. I put you into hanged man or it's a pause. It's like you're waiting, waiting. Is it too good to be true? Why else do I have to go into hanged man about it? What is, what's the hold up here? What's the hold up? Show me the energy of the environment, please. Thank you. Mm, I see. Doubt. Conflict. Five of Wands or competition. Five of Wands. That's the pause. Competition. You feel it. 
There's more than one vying for your position. Heavy Leo again here with the Five of Wands. You feel... That's why you're in a rush. That's why you're rushing. I see. I see. Yeah, because you don't want to feel rejection. You don't want to be rejected. You want this opportunity. Yes, you do. Whatever you're doing. This is something you are going towards quickly and as fast as you can, while you can, is what I feel like. While you can. The hanged man. I don't want to be forced to go into hanged man. I feel stuck. I feel on pause. I feel kind of like in a stalemate, having to surrender to my situation. It is what it is. That's what someone's saying. It is what it is. But... There is competition. There is a need to move. Otherwise, you know, this plane. That plane's dumping a lot of fire onto this small village here. And we all know what happens when that fire hits the ground, right? Kaboom. So, there's a need to move before kaboom. Kaboom. That just came to me. Move before the kaboom. That was so specific. That was so specific. Wow. I'm sensing those of you, not that you probably even have internet access, maybe you would, I don't know. Or if you're living in the Middle East, like an airstrike. Move before the kaboom. Speed. Get away. Get away. Get to a safe place, hanged man. That's for some. That's for some, not all. Okay? That was very specific. What does Sagittarius, what does the Divine Masculine understand at this time, please? Yeah. 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 Communication. Son of air. Communication. You need to take action. Communication. You need to move quickly. You need to speak quickly. Yes, illusions on the bottom of the deck. Seven of water. The mirage when the heat, the smoke clears when the, when the, when the, uh, when the illusion clears, the fog clears, everything has felt very illusion. You've been so blinded and overwhelmed, is what I feel like. Overwhelmed. You understand that you need to take action. You need to speak clearly now. And it's telling you to wait. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. Wait. 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 It's not time yet. Wait. What am I missing here, spirit? What am I missing? What's the obstacle here, please? What's the obstacle here? For Sagittarius, for the Divine Masculine, what's the obstacle here? For the Divine Masculine. It feels like you're making a decision to go in a new direction or to balance up a situation with someone because technically there you are. Mother of Fire. That is heavily your energy, by the way. This could be another fire sign in and around your environment, but it seems like to me that you've been confused about how to equalize and balance up your situation, Sagittarius. It's just putting you in a little bit of conflict. Okay. And stagnation. Stagnation. The Hanged Man. You're working on better communication skills at this time to get you where you need to go. Okay. How to communicate properly. To balance things up and give everyone like a fair distance, but 
like equal opportunity but a but a shared distance if that makes sense you know but success is the outcome it is which i like to see it's the outcome oh <sighs> And underlying your spread is the mother of fire, technically you. So this could also speak to someone in your environment who you can trust or you feel a sense of trust with who can help you during this time. Okay. All right. Your energy for the month of April is Vishnu Balance. Balance, the divine masculine energy for the month of April. Balance, Vishnu. Vishnu. Let us read. Let us read. You know, it's wonderful for me as a tarot reader. They finally have cards that actually cater to the divine masculine. It's lovely. I love having these cards for you guys. I am still learning them, though, so we're learning them together. Okay. <laughs> So many of them I know, but I like to read them to you guys, as you know, because there's just so much information in addition to what I can tell you, you know? Okay. Vishnu. <laughs> All right. Rectifying imbalance in your body, mind, and soul reduces suffering and pain. The middle path is the best course of action. The Hindus believe that both good and evil exists in the world. This is a natural way of being. When harmony is disturbed, Vishnu appears to maintain balance. Vishnu, the preserver, is the middle part of the Hindu trinity between Brahma, the creator, and Shiva, the destroyer. So far, Vishnu has been reincarnated nine times to assist in balancing the powers of light and darkness. The incarnations, or avatars, include those of Rama, Krishna, and Buddha. There is a tenth reincarnation to come, when a hero called Kalki will appear, riding a white horse to again balance the decline of humanity from now on but for now you are Vishnu the balancer your healing card for the month Sagittarius positive action positive action I focus on the beauty in me and find silence I live and honor the present by doing what I can do now what I cannot change, I let go of and entrust to the universe, or to God, or to spirit, or to whatever you believe. Let go. It's okay. You can. This is about also opening your crown chakra. The purple light, purple violet light. Sagittarius, I hope something in here did resonate with you. If you would like to stick around for the White Light Oracle card and your Ancients card, Oracle card, final messages for Sagittarius, stay tuned for the next section. <laughs> Welcome back. Sagittarius, your overall energy for the both Divine Feminine and Masculine, your White Light Oracle card. is Yishi Sugoyo 333 beautiful Yishi the tiger oh lovely the tiger that's beautiful 
Yishi Sugoyo, 333. You shall overcome all obstacles. Success is imminent, so stay connected to your path no matter what and continue to apply yourself. Allow your spiritual path to support you in all areas of your life. Live by your spiritual beliefs. Seek out the support of your spiritual brothers and sisters for help when needed, but also trust that you are innately and directly connected to the powerful divine light within. There can be a dramatic healing breakthrough when you rely upon your spiritual connection. Yishi Sugoi. Your final card, Sagittarius, we have first house, the body. This is a time of healing for you. Healing not just from within, well, not just from without, but from within. Taking care of the body at this time is critical for all Sagittariuses, I think. So mind your health during this time, okay? Mind your health. Yes, first house the body. The body is the temple. My body is my temple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Turns right to it. What do you know? First house. I am not the perishable, bo the perishable body, but the eternal self. Rama Maharshi. Move ahead with confidence. You are rising. The first house in astrology begins with the ascendant, the astrological constellation rising over the eastern horizon at the time the chart is cast. In the natal chart, the ascendant represents the moment you were born. Like the sun and moon, the first house is one of the most important parts of the horoscope. The first house represents your physical appearance, how your body works, and where your strengths and weaknesses lie. It is the beginning of everything. The first house is also the mask that everyone else first sees. Although the first house is the house of self, it is also the persona you project. It is how you relate to the world first. This is a stunning reading. These cards are so deep. I could talk forever about them, but I think the general message is here for you today, Sagittarius, is to be very conscious of what you are feeding yourself, your thoughts, your ideas, right? We're moving into a big shift, the first house. We are in Aries, which is the first house, which is about change and firm and solid foundation. The first solid foundation is the body. Sagittarius, this was your reading. I hope something in here did resonate with you today. Please let me know down in the comments. I will see you again very soon next week for your general love readings. <laughs> Until then, be well.